Quickly, within the past hour, we have learned that a popular Jacksonville Beach restaurant will be open despite that deadly shooting that happened last night. Police say one man shot and killed another in the parking lot outside of Nippers. And they did make an arrest in this case. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell joins us live outside the restaurant. You had a chance to talk with the owner just the past few minutes. What did you learn? I did, Bruce. Well, like y'all mentioned, Nippers is going to open today, and they are accepting and encouraging all customers to continue to come here. But as for the investigation, I did leave a message with the sergeant with the Jacksonville Police Department about 30 minutes ago, hoping to learn information soon. But we were told that investigators were here at the scene until about 3.30 this morning. They tell us that everything happened here in this parking lot outside of Nippers last night around 8 o'clock. Now, they say that two men got into a fight and one of the men pulled out a gun and shot the other four times. We're told he was shot in the face. Police say they have a man in custody who they believe did the shooting, but they are interviewing him as well as several other people who saw the shooting happen. Now, Nippers is a very popular family-friendly restaurant here in Jacksonville Beach, and one man who saw everything happen tells us he is shocked and saddened by this and said it was a surreal experience. It was a little bit surreal because there wasn't a lot of yelling or fighting or screaming or chaos. Uh, everybody was very just calm. Uh, the guy who shot the individual, um, obviously you can tell he's been in altercation because of his nose was bloody. But um, he surrendered peacefully and, you know, when someone asked him who, who shot the guy, and he said, I did. And then, uh, you know, he didn't try to run away or anything. Now, joining me now is Rudy Thiel, the owner of Nippers. Thank you so much for joining us, Rudy. Sure, Elizabeth. First, tell me, do you know anything about the investigation? Any update from police? Uh, none, none today, no. I, uh, I left last night around 1 o'clock in the morning and uh, haven't heard anything else today. Okay, and as for customers, I know customers are your number one priority. Uh, that's what you work for. Tell me, what can you tell them to ensure their safety here at Nippers? You're going to sure. be opening as usual today at 11. What, what can you tell yeah, them? Yeah, I mean, you know, Nippers has been here for years. Um, you know, we service, a you know, thousands of people a month. And when you have a business like that, you, you never know when there's going to be a bad apple or something happen outside of the restaurant. Uh, what I can say is that, you know, we've never had a security issue here, uh, you know, it, it, it's business as usual for us. I feel terrible for what happened to the gentleman out front in, in the parking lot, uh, but it, it, it was not related to our restaurant. It didn't happen in the restaurant. Um, I can say that, uh, you know, are we going to, you know, step up security? Uh, certainly, we're going to we're going to take security very seriously. But again, it's just not the type of establishment. I mean, we're a restaurant. You know, I mean, we're we're focused on the food and family and fun, and uh, you know, we'll do anything to protect our customers. But I just I, I just don't feel the event. Was, was nippers related per se. Rudy Thiel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. He also tells me that they do not plan on having any more biker events in the future. He says it just does not feel right. But again, we have been in constant contact with the Jacksonville Beach Police Department, hoping to learn more information this morning as well as later on in the day. So make sure you stay tuned to Channel 4 as well as newsforjax.com as we continue to follow this developing story. Reporting live from Jacksonville Beach, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.